set's dead. The hollow's yours. They say you strung him up on the old Ferris wheel. He killed Ellis. Shit all over the people in this neighborhood. Doucette got what he deserved. Mm, the righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. That goes both ways, you know. I thought you said all that was behind us. My men are struggling with the notion that we now have to answer to the same men who killed Baca, who wiped out half our number. If I was them, I'd get over it. We don't have time to go around coddling people. Mm, of course not. But just just carry weight. And if you were to help my man Emmanuel, that's a gesture that would go a long way in calming nerves. What's he need? He oversees my reefer operation over at the boathouse. Help him, and I'll see to it you get a portion of the profits. Just so we're clear, I'm expecting a cut of everything, not just what comes from selling weed. It's gonna cost a lot of money to take down Marcano. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get your money. The Loire welcome you, and so do I. We have this kind of money because of all the work you've done. Take it. I recognize that you don't forget our agreement. Only way things change is if we have power. He's too humble. We got a lot of... My sister and I used to jump rope and play hopscotch until well beyond dusk. Those days was good. Innocent. Come on. Problems? This goddamn thing keeps jamming up. If you're ready to see the other briefings, we can get started. Show me what else you managed to dig up. You got it. Two of the city's finest scumbags. Oh, yes. Point for Dunn's favorite son, Thomas Burke. How's he doing since Danny? <laughs> Nine weeks ago, Burke stumbles into Roman the Butcher Barbieri's deli, drunk off his ass, waving a gun around. He fires off ten rounds, but the only thing he manages to hit is a fucking ham hock in the goddamn deli case. The Butcher's boys slap the shit out of him and toss him in a dumpster. Barbieri's the one who took over Point for Dunn, right? Busted up Burke's leg with a tire iron. That's why Burke was willing to go along with the robbery. He thought it'd make things square with Sal, and he'd be able to get point for done back. He always struck me as an asshole. Yeah, just like every other Irishman. But he hates Marcano as much as you do. Yeah, all right. Least I can do is give Danny's old man a chance for a little payback. Oh, fucking hell. 
He's been spending his time in a dive bar up in Point for Dunn. Duffy's, it's called. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Yo, you better be worth all this trouble. The man himself, Mr. Vito Scaletta. You gotta be shitting me. Last couple months have been pretty tough on old Vito. Sal's always hated him. Thought he was a mole for the commission, but he couldn't do anything about it because Vito's made. After the heist, Sal refused to pay Vito his cut, and then he put the clamps on him. He's been trying to limit Vito's ability to pay what's owed. And if Scaletta can't kick up, the commissioner give Marcano permission to whack him. The only reason that Vito is still above ground is because he has a couple off-the-record businesses. He's been using that money to pay Sal. Gotta give Scaletta credit. Pretty goddamn tenacious. He's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would, but the clock is ticking. A couple weeks ago, Sal sent in his nephew, a kid named Michael Greco, to help Vito run River Row. Greco's been using his guys to limit what Vito can do, where he can go. Once he has Vito completely boxed in, he'll make his move. Scaletta has to know what Greco has planned. I'll pay him a visit. See if I can not leverage this thing with Greco to bring Scaletta around in my way of thinking. I'm sure I'll appreciate your concern. Having the people down here heard about a little invention called air conditioning? going in there? How do you think? Vito's taking his beating. Wish Greco would just let us kill the post some bitch and get it over with. Nah, Greco wants to show how tough he is. <gasps> Beat on old Vito till we all respect him. Only all it took was beating up on a washed up carpet bagger. Somebody's brains? You and me ain't getting paid enough to worry about ride, Walt. You know what I mean. Look, I get doing them coons over in Holler.
There you are. You boys just back me up. <laughs> Yes, that's that. Boy's dead. Hey, see behind me. Take him down. He's taking out the whole team. Out of ammo. I gotta reload. Gator who loves color, boys. <laughs> that had to fucking hurt. He's killing our fucking crew. Just in time, Vito. Lincoln. How's this possible? I thought you were dead. The bullet was deflected by my skull. Came out the back. Talk about some goddamn luck. Worst place to shoot a fellas in the forehead. Skull's harder than you think. <clears throat> Come on. We need to have a talk. When I heard about what happened, I went to Marcano asking my cut right then and there. I figured if he fucked you and Sammy, I'd be next. I'm guessing he didn't go for it. Said he wanted to wait for the heat to die down. Didn't want me running around, buying expensive shit, getting noticed. Like I'm some fucking amateur never sat on a big score before. The money I fronted for the robbery was pretty much everything I put away. Didn't have enough to run, so... I stayed. The commission wouldn't let him just kill me, so I figured I'd make that cocksucker jump through every hoop, make him prove I deserve to get whacked. It wasn't much, but it was something. Heard he brought in his nephew to push you out. A kid named Michael Greco. Nephew by marriage, not blood. Sure didn't number in here. Yeah. They were looking to see what other rackets I was running. I could leave a fucking paper trail in my office. Eh, nah, don't bother with that shit. Look, uh... 
appreciate you getting me out of the freezer and all, but, uh... What are you doing here? Marcano deserves to pay for what he did, so I'm going after him. Him, his brothers, his lieutenants, all of them. And I'm gonna need your help. Look, you pretty much whittle me down to nothing. I mean, this is it. For now, maybe. But once I take back River Road from Greco, money will start coming in, it'll be a different story. Also, we're partners now. As long as you do what I say and give me what I want when I want it. <laughs> so goodbye, Marcano, hello, Lincoln Clay. It's either that or more of this. And next time, I won't be around to fish your ass out the freezer. Nobody kills that scumbag with me. You bring me Greco. I'm in. Tell me about his rackets. He took over the dock union, and he's got a warehouse. He has a lot of valuable shit in there. You take both of them out. Greco's finished. A couple of my guys have been keeping tabs on him. You should talk to them. They'll fill you in. All right. Hey, Lincoln. I'm, uh, still trying to get this place back in order. You gotta help me get my businesses back. These Marcano fucks have gotta go. How goes the fucking up Sal Marcano's life business? It's funny, before I moved here, I fucking hated fish. Crabs, shrimp, crawfish heads, I eat all that shit now. To me then, Woody. I know I'd catch hell from the old lady. I though. just wish you understood that it's not my choice to work overtime. But when the boss says you're reliable, there's not much I can do. Vito said you'd be expecting me. Took you long enough. I'm Jock Blanchard. Vito claims you can unfug this mess and get us working men back on a job. Maybe. Depends if your information's any good. Used to kick up to Vito's man Andy Toretto for union work. But now that Coyon Greco got Andy squeezing everybody for more dues. You don't pay, you don't get a work permit. Poor fucks even gotta use Greco's loudmouth buddies to collect. This Greco sounds like a real piece of shit. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. On top of that, Andy's gotta keep the permits under lock and key. Anything happens to those, oof. 
Ain't no work happening around here. I'll see what I can get out of Toretto's people. Toretto runs a tight ship, but you should be able to get some of his guys talking. Push comes to shove, Toretto will push, shove, bite, and gut you. Watch yourself. You want to work the dock, sure, you have to kick up to the Union. But this shit on the Greco? Christ, it's like he wants to keep fellas from working. Be careful about telling folks you're working for Vito. He's a good man, but damn if he hasn't pissed off a lot of people. Two of you don't need the grief. The dock union might not be a big, fancy-looking operation, but as long as men want to work, it's dependable. Right now, for the highest office in our country, blowhards. Every one of them. It's goddamn embarrassing. Oh, come on. Fuck it, Swamp Cracker. Fuck it up for all of us. All of us? You're the one trying to get at that hollow pussy. Damn, have your girl come see you. Way Donna tells it, they find out you're fucking black only, them Haitian boys will come for you. Well, there you go. Stop trying to fuck black girls. Only a matter of time before your wife finds out. You remember her, right?
for me today. Come on. It's been the same story for the for last day. Let's week. get this show on the road. Some of us want to work. Huh? You got anything for me today? Hey, boss. You got anything for me today? Let's get this show on the road. Some of us want to work. <laughs> Sucker Greco, fucking making a working man wait. Someplace else. So. You boys sit. off as soon as the captain put his mouth on Ahura. You see a newspaper stand around here? I gotta check the skull.
over to the house. Says I ain't quite Are you sure yet. you're on the list? I was serious about it. He was going to see to my legs. You know, bust the hell out of them. God damn. <clears throat> You ain't organized no, against us, cocksucker. Don't stick around! Go! <coughs> Woo! You got spotted him! Come on! Against us, cocksucker. Cover my ass! Take him outside! <coughs> One more kill for him. Throwing a Molotov! Hell. for the last damn week. Somebody needs to stop this! Why did you kill him? Are you sure you're on the list? Holy shit! Oh, God, he killed him! You don't belong You here, can't friend. pay your dues! You get your ass beat! Found him! Don't make
Vito says you can help me get this bread of mine to a safe place. Sure can, honey, and a friend of Vito's is a friend of mine. Be there looking to split. What can I take Better off your hands? Lose Going straight to the bank.
Come on, fellas, let's they keep it nice and orderly. This boy's dead. And yeah, no luck. Moving on. Nonsense. As good a job as you've done slowing work at the dock union. I'm surprised. Word is Andy Toretto's down at the dock union, demanding to know who's been stopping his people from collecting dues. Think he tipped off Greco to what's been happening? Nah. Knowing Andy, he'd probably see Greco in the ground next to you if he could. But he's a lifer, and if he's got a job to do, He's gonna goddamn well do it. Bad fucking situation all around. And it's about to get worse. Tell the boys they'll be back to work soon, Jock. You pissed Toretto off just enough that he's back at the dock union. You're gonna have to deal with him. Destroying the work permits hurt the workers, sure. But what it's really done is make Toretto and Greco look weak. I've been working for Vito for a while now. You ask me, Marcano never gave him more about not using the bomb at this point. I need to get out of the city soon. <laughs> Can we just print up some more? Jesus Christ. Look, 
That's how it works. Those little slips of paper tell us who owes what. All that shit. Besides that, it's making us look weak. You need glasses? You're supposed to have my back. Mr. Toretto sees you stoned again, and he's gonna deal with you. <laughs> I'd like to see that fat old fuck try. I was hired by old pal Michael fucking Greco. I'm untouchable. You know, accidents happen all the time. Especially with Mr. Toretto. Now you be wise to show some respect and do your fucking job. Poor bastard. something. Well, I'm on to you, buddy. Target sighted. Take it. Blast the black off him. I'm with you. Vito will be happy to hear that. The dock union's under control. Put some of you guys on it. You took those fucks out, huh? Good job, pal. I'll send some guys to keep watch. Get the warehouse, and we get Greco. Easy as your mama's fucking pie. Today, 
I'm sure the file on Vito Scaletta is about three feet thick, but that wasn't always the case. Hoover didn't even acknowledge the Mafia existed until 1957, so we weren't really keeping tabs on guys like Vittorio Scaletta till after that. Now, we know he served in World War II and did a six-year stint in prison for theft and illegal distribution of federal rations. It's, uh, it's generally believed he was a made member of the Falcone family in Empire Bay, though he's also a suspect in the death of Don Carlo Falcone. Now, if he did kill the Don, Vito must have had friends in high places because he was allowed to live. He was exiled, though, and forced to relocate down here. And the commission convinced Sal Marcano to make Vito a lieutenant and give him some rackets. Lincoln Clay. Jesus Christ on the cross. Now I've seen everything. I heard you were dead. Been hearing that a lot. What the fuck do you want? Came here to make you a business proposition. Is that so? I'm going after Marcano, his brothers, anyone else that's associated with him. You know what may help? The way I see it, once we deal with Barbieri, you get Point Vidon back. After that, we can discuss what happens to the rest of the city. <laughs> no, fuck off. Of all the chalky bastards once already. Look where I got me. From where I'm standing, I'm not seeing much of a difference between then and now. You less than that, you less than God, you fuck. <laughs> Danny was so buttoned up, the coroner wouldn't let me get a last look. If anyone's killing that fucking Marcano, that's me. Unless Marcano's hanging around one of these dive bars, I don't think he has too much to worry about. Yeah, go fuck yourself. There's more stones in the likes of you that are fucking off. A fucking ingrate. Coming to your question, me. You and your kind, you are caught down wrong at the first sign of trouble. You always have, and you always will. This ain't your lucky day, motherfucker. What a Christ you think you're doing? You were bragging about your stones, so I figured we'd take a little ride. See who cracks first, the chalky or the mick. Pick the wrong man to call out. Getting me all chubbed up now, Chalky.
They're fucking Fargar and Bastard Jack. You're not better than that cock on me, boot hill. Sober up, then come see me. I think we can work something out. So soon then. Tell me about Barbieri. Barbieri? Well, he's a right fucking cunt. I can tell you that much. You know what I'm asking, Burke. Give me something I can use. Barbieri's running Splow out of the Sweetwater Distillery. Splow. Panther's piss. White mule. Alley gin. Pot chain, moonshine, you ignorant fuck. Christ, what kind of booze you people drink over there in Darkyville? Kind is not called painter's piss. <laughs> Boy, you ain't lived. Set the whole thing up myself. Then that gunny fuck comes in and takes it from me. Smashes me knee all to hell. Barbara has gonna suffer. You hear? Days. Slow. What else has he got besides the distillery? I run is that old Robert O. Slaughterhouse. He's doing more in there than cutting a lean ribe. Drags in there. That's the end there. I'll do the heavy lifting on this, Burke. Uh huh. But once Barbieri's dead, I'm counting on you to step up. Oh, I'll do more than step up. I'll either be running this whole damn town or burning it to the ground. But honest. It'll make a whole lot of difference to me either way. <laughs> and yes, you know it once again. A nation once again. And the Ireland long, a province be a nation once again. With Irish point in my hands, we'll be primed to take the rest of the city. We got a lot going on, but until Marcano is tits up in the ground, we're still stuck in the past. End the shit already. Goddamn head is pounded. Need a fucking drink. Some wheels, and Burke says you're the only person we're talking to about it. Well, Burke's a fucking genius in that regard. I'll head on out to you now.
One car as promised. Appreciate it. Lincoln, over here. Surprised to see you, Nikki. I know what you're planning on doing. And I couldn't just sit here and watch my old man send you out half-cocked. Fuck. Man, well, your dad's never been much for details. Yeah, what he didn't tell you is that the man running the Sweetwater Distillery is named Carl Bevers. Hard ass. Country asshole. His family runs the shine through the business, sells it to local shops. Bevers ever let on to where he keeps his stills? Uh, he's got brains enough to move things around. Rumor is, he's got a map hid somewhere for his drivers. Hmm. Something like that could come in handy. Maybe I'll convince one of his men to tell me where it is. Hey, we've got another man. Goes by the name of Bear. Keeping an eye on the meatpacking plant. You should go see him. I'll do that. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Lincoln. Send someone to Point Verdun to pick up my cash. Be there soon. Need to make Keep a deposit, sugar? Bonsoir, Cher.
Negro girl now. His mama's none too happy. <laughs> on his leg, the gimp one, he says, I seem to have had an accident, boys. <laughs> and then he passed the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking boat man. I miss that drunk cocksucker. Yeah, well, maybe he drinks like a fish. Sure can't run a business for shit, but at least we got to sell decent shine. Hear sound. Goddamn dealers. City, you get me? Called himself a man of leisure. I think we all know what kind of You didn't hear? The stupid fuck got in deep to Barbieri. Last seen hidden in the Robodos. Truth, you think. But if he did, we wouldn't be having this conversation.
That's it, man. You pay up today or we'll take your fucking call. Oh, come on. You could just give me a few more days. It was a few more days last week. I promise. I'll figure something out. Hey, man. Where you at? <clears throat> Your time don't belong here.
Bevis can't be happy about what you've been. You got Carl's attention. He's back at the Sweetwater Distillery. Any idea how he'll react when I go in there? He's bug shit crazy swamp people. How do you think he'll react? Still, might be worth keeping him around. No one knows the bayou like he does. Oh, you one for this, Nikki? Damn right you do. Bevis is waiting for you. Real interested to see how you handle him. Bevis people swore by those fucking stills. He's not gonna take losing them too well. Looking pretty spry for a man who took a bullet to the head. When this bullshit with my old man's through, you and me should talk. Bevis moonshine hasn't been the same since the butcher came in and fucked the business sideways. Is that a good? I apologize. Hey, is that a gun? Is he creeping up on somebody? What's he sneaking around for? That just don't seem right. Why is God he skulking around like that? How the fuck we let him get away? Check the other side. up your ass. Most of that shine we lost belonged to us. You try and pull something on Barbieri. 
That dead-eyed fucker will find out. Emptied out the distillery. It's primed and ready for your boys. Over still standing. My boys are on the way. Snatch that slaughterhouse from him, and that fuck Barbieri will have to react. the States as a boy uh, when his father fled Ireland, likely because of his involvement in the Irish Civil War. Um, after his father died of a heart attack, uh, Burke started running booze to support himself. I mean, he turned bootlegging into an entire industry, and Sal Marcano took notice. Uh, Burke worked his way up the ranks, but could never be made because he wasn't Italian. 